back as a candidate, as president-elect, and as president, the answer from Team Trump has been consistent. How many times do I have to answer this question? Can you just say Russia yes no is on a it? ruse. I have nothing to do with Russia. To the best of my t knowledge, no person that I deal with does. Was there any contact in any way between Trump or his associates and the Kremlin or cutouts they had? I, there, of course not. Why would there be any contacts between the campaign? I'm trying to ascertain is at what point, how many people have to say that there's nothing there before you realize there's nothing there? But we now know on this question, no, at least sometimes, means yes. Let's look at some key dates in the spy novel that just simply won't get away. Back in April 2016, as a candidate, then-candidate Donald Trump delivered a major foreign policy address as a VIP guest in the front row, the Russian ambassador. Let's slide forward to July. By this time, Donald Trump is about to be officially the Republican nominee. He's at the Republican convention. We know Senator Sessions met with the Russian ambassador at the convention. It should be noted for the record that event that he met him at was organized by the Obama State Department. Yes, it was. Also in this time frame, several other foreign policy advisors to the Trump campaign out at the convention meet with the Russian ambassador. On the surface, nothing wrong with that, but for months they said no context. What Democrats get curious about is this. July 19th and 20th here, Democrats say, aha, it was July 22nd when the first WikiLeaks release of the DNC emails happened. That's what Democrats say. Now we move forward to September a little bit later in the campaign, and we know Senator Sessions has now disclosed he had a meeting with the Russian ambassador, a second meeting. One was at the convention. This one was at his Senate office. He says it was just about Senate business, his job on the Armed Services Committee. Now we move forward to October. The first WikiLeaks release of the John Podesta emails. Again, Democrats say this is what, why they are suspicious of all of this. They want to ask some questions. And now we know the election happened. It's President-elect Trump. And in December, during the transition, his first national security advisor, General Michael Flynn, who had to resign, had several contacts with the Russian ambassador, one of them a Trump Tower meeting that involved the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. That was just disclosed last week after months and months of reporters asking, did you have any contacts with the Russians? The Trump campaign, the Trump presidency now says these were courtesy calls, these were simple meetings, nothing bad happened. Democrats like Nancy Pelosi don't buy it.